I live in the mountains hunting animals. Eve always tells me to come down to town, but I won't change my lifestyle. Well, good for you, Gramps. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today is a very special episode. Not only are we playing the, the Super Nintendo Classic Harvest Moon, which is a terrific farming simulator, life simulator style game. We're getting the little opening cutscene here. Basically, the story is uh, a boy is dropped off to stay with his grandpa or something like that, and his grandpa goes away. I don't know what he just ate there. But basically, you end up running a farm. I think you're running your grandpa's farm, and you have two years to try and do as good a job as you can. Try to collect, grow crops, make sure the animals are tended well. You can get married. You can spend your weekends at the bar. You can go exploring in the wilderness. Yes, all in a Super Nintendo game. This is a game that I consider to be ahead of its time in a weird way. I never actually played this game growing up. But I've heard so much about it, and I have some cool things to tell you about this game. So we are playing Harvest Moon, but there is also another thing that I want to mention about this series, about this channel. Guys, we have just passed 100 subscribers. And so I just want to say to all of you guys out there, anyone who subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I'm so happy to find out that so many people have wanted to join me on this quest of playing a thousand one games. Sorry, I didn't actually click anything on the title screen there. I'm too busy talking. We'll watch this little intro while I, while I talk a little. Oh, he's throwing grass around. I guess you gotta pick up the weed, smash rocks. This is actually good for me. This is a, a pseudo tutorial. I did go and read a bit about what I was supposed to do in this game, so I wouldn't seem, be totally lost, but uh, as I say, I've never played this before, so I don't fully know. Throwing that in the pond, okay. Getting some good tips here. He's gonna hack that apart. You'll see this is sort of Minecraft-esque in that you have to go around harvesting resources and so on. Anyway, we're at 100 subscribers, which is a pretty big deal. I know that, you know, other channels out there, 100, 100 subscribers doesn't really mean a lot. It'll mean something to me, guys, because honestly, you know, I feel like I'm on a little more intimate quest here with you guys to play this through this book. And yeah, I mean, I think every subscriber counts. And a really cool thing that happens at 100 subscribers is you become like an official YouTube channel. So if you want to find me on YouTube now, you can now go to youtube.com slash C, the letter C, slash GamingJ1001. That is my official channel name now. So yeah, exciting stuff. I was super happy to see it happen. Um, and here he's building a fence. All right, so you can already start to get a, a feel for this game. Um, in that it, it's gonna be, it's gonna combine elements of like, you know, Minecraft. As I say, you can like date and stuff. So there's gonna be The Sims. You can go wilderness exploring. So you have a little bit of Don't Starve in there. A lot of modern games built off of games like Harvest Moon that did a lot of this stuff for essentially the first time, or at least the first time popularly. Hello, you're the one who's supposed to work at this ranch today. What's your name? We know the answer to that, right, guys? My name is Jay, and I like to shout my name. I don't speak softly. Somebody asks you your name, you shudder in their face. Jay! Uh, do we have an exclamation point? We do not. We'll add a little heart, though. To show that we're not, we're not a monster. We're caring, Jay. So I guess, how do, you, how do you pronounce a heart? So my name would be Jay. Sort of a, a friendly. Mr. Jay, I'm in charge of shipping here. I come here every evening to pick up stuff you put in the shipping box. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, ask me anything you want. Uh, or ask anything you want to people in town, it will help you a lot. The shipping guy looks really upset. He's like scowling his face. Um, before we go into dealing with Harvest Moon, we're getting a nice little ride to town here. I'll just say a few more things about this hitting sub 100 subscribers thing, you know. Um, I was supposed, supposed to play a different game uh, today, and actually I have it recorded, and I decided to put that video that I'd recorded on, on hold, and instead record a special one where I did talk about the fact that we hit 100 subscribers, because it was very exciting for me. Again, maybe not the biggest deal for other channels, but I personally consider it kind of exciting. Hello, the bar is closed today. It's usually opening except Sunday, though. Okay, well, I'll be back. Oh, believe me, I'll be back. I got some, some troubles I need to forget. This bar. I'm going to be drinking a lot. <laughs> Explore the town here a bit. Um, yes, the so for those of you who have been following me from the start, you know my the whole thing with my channel is to try and ooh, what was that? 
to try and play through this book, 1001 Games Must Play Before You Die. And by far, I am the only person on YouTube who's gotten as far as we have. I did do a little looking around today just to see if anyone else... We're just going to walk right past the woman at the cash register into the back room here. We have no we have no problems violating social norms or social expectations. I'm Nina. These crops must be sowed during a certain season. They won't get they won't germinate unless you sell them in the proper season. Good tip, Nina. Keeping me sharp. Plants, artistic flowers. What? <laughs> I went to a bookshelf and just two random uh, my guy just read two random things. Looks like artificial flower. Hey, all, all your for all your talk about growing plants, do you have fake flowers around here? This is a flower shop and you have fake flowers? Give me a break. Hey, hold on. Let's see what this one says. Flowers, florist crop notes. Tomato, corn. Hey, tell me about tomatoes and corn. Must be planted in the summer. Okay. It is not summer. I believe we start the game in spring, so we need to know what to plant in spring. How about turnips? Must be planted in spring. Okay. I'm going to go with potatoes. I feel like being a potato farmer is something that I've never dreamed of, and I don't think anyone has, but it's a good enough dream as any for this guy. Look how excited he is. He's like, man, I'm going to be a potato farmer. It's going to be so good. We're going to plant so many potatoes. Everyone's going to think I'm the best potato farmer in the world. We're going to marry all the women, and we're going to have all the potatoes we could ever eat. We're never going to have any problems anymore. Yay! Is this the mayor? How you doing? I'm the mayor of this town. Some tools left in the shed your grandfather used to use. And a book on how to use them. All right, Mr. Mayor, thanks. Is this the shed? Looks like a very elaborate shed. What am I looking at? What What is this? Huh. Well, let's just wander aimlessly through this guy's house. Adventure heroes have no respect for social boundaries. I gotta say that. Myths of gods. There are a lot of difficult books. Is it the title of a book? Or is that one of the myths of gods is that they're difficult books? Simple lessons from God. Happiness lies in life. Words to live by, apparently. Uh, I'm like in this guy's like bedroom. Can I like steal his stuff? No, I guess one thing you... Oh, we're... let's read his diary. What? Is this a heart? That's the lamest diary entry ever. I was going to say, I guess for all the things you can do in this game, they don't, let you al they don't allow you to be a straight up thief, which is kind of too bad. So the one, my one complaint about this game already is that it's lacking a life of crime. Yeah, you can be a successful farmer, but I want to be a criminal. Okay, here's a, his wife, I presume. We got to move on here. Let's find this shed. Uh, what is this, a church? Yeah. Anyway, so I did a bit of, you know, internet stalking, creeping, to see if anyone else was playing through the book, 1001 Games Must Play Before You Die. Turns out there's like one or two people out there trying it. One or two people who are actually active. Um, but nobody, I think, is kind of doing it to the extent I am. Uh, you know, not to toot my own horn too much. But, you know, hey, if you're really intrigued by this quest, maybe you want to check out other people. Long story short, if you search for Let's Play 1001 Games, I'm now your number one option that will come up on YouTube. This is Psychic. We don't believe in Psychic, so bailing on this idea. If you type in Gaming J, oddly enough, I'm like the most active Gaming J on YouTube, but I'm still like third in the overall list. Even though I have more videos and more views and more subscribers than all the other Gaming Js, I don't know what, how YouTube uh, sorts things. But if you search Gaming J 1001, with or without spaces, I come up. So, you know, if you want to tell your friends about me, say, hey, go look up this guy called Gaming J 1001. Anyway, I'm going to stop stop bragging about myself because I hate bragging. I suggest you listen to the villagers a little more. Oh, uh, we didn't talk to enough people? Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Did we, we didn't talk to the psychic. Talk to this dude. Okay. I'm just, like, banging these out. I'm not even listening to people. I'm like, quick, tell me what you want to say. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, see ya. Ranch, parents, wonderful parents. Okay, okay. Should we go into houses here? Oh, tools. We need some tools. All right, you. Can I talk to you? Welcome. Uh, photo of my wife. Yeah, I was trying to take it. Is your wife in here? Huh, okay. So now we're just going to try and figure out how to get to the next part of the game. Anyway, this game includes farming... Obviously, at some point, we're going to get to that. 
We're exploring town here. There's a big socializing component. You can go to the bar and hang out on weekends. Puff Hick, have you seen... I don't know. <laughs> you can, uh, you know, hit on girls. So there's multiple things you can try and do in this game. You can try and become like a successful farming millionaire. Or you can just become like a socialite. Or you can become like a wilderness tough guy. Like there's... It's really interesting to me how there are so many different career paths in this game. And... Okay, I'm gonna skip to the farming. Alright, we're now heading back to the farm. I had to go back and talk to the florist. That was the one thing I was missing. Ah, whatever. It's an interesting way to introduce you to a lot of concepts in the game to make and make you explore the town at the same time, but I had missed someone. It was kind of annoying to figure out who to talk to. Had a croissant for breakfast. Got my big screen TV over here. Gonna watch a little uh, morning cartoons. Hello, the weather forecast for tomorrow is that it'll begin to rain at midnight. Be rainy for the whole day. All right, now we have to plan our farming accordingly. Well, here it is. Here's Jay's awesome farm. We got uh, <laughs> a random dog comes comes up. Coro, wait! What's going on here? Puff, puff, puff. Don't run suddenly. Everybody's talking about, well, uh, keep the dog. My house is a grocery store. My mom doesn't allow me to keep this dog, so please. All right, thanks for the dog. He's mine now. I'm going to rename him from Koro to, um... Okay, we need a good acronym. Um, the sum... No, wait. Oh, I don't know how to go back. We'll just call him TS. TS is a good name. You don't pronounce that phonetically. His name isn't... It's uh, TS. Thank you very much. You have a new house, TS. Gotta be a good boy. Take care. Okay. Uh, okay, enough with the, the chit-chatting here. Let's get on to farming. So as I say, this is a farm simulator. Uh, how do we pick stuff up? There we go. Let's clear some of these weeds away. Although I guess it doesn't really matter what's around our house. Okay, what we need is... Okay, we don't... Nothing in there. This is a wood shed. Okay. We need to find the shed where we actually have tools, because we want to get a few tools. I think they're in here. Nope, this is where the cows go. We're going to have so many cows, guys. It's going to be awesome. I think this is where the uh, shipping box for milk. So I guess when you harvest milk, you have to put it in the shipping box. This is how you make money, which is kind of cool. Uh, what's in here? This might be the chicken coop. Yep. Chicken coop. If you leave chickens outside, they will blow away in the wind or get eaten by dogs. Which is pretty hilarious to imagine the chickens getting blown away in the wind. Okay. This has got to be the shed. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do we want? We want an axe. And we want a hammer. Because we're going to be clearing out... Clearing out the land. Making room for crops. I'm uh, going to get this fence out of here. Alright. Here we go. So this is... This is farming. For now. Uh... Okay, we got our axe. Uh, that is not... You don't want to use your axe on the stone. That's a good way to... For it to wear itself out. So here it is. I'm going to be doing a little bit of farming here. I'm going to keep chatting to you, though. Can we do this? Aw, oh, man. I have to, like, pick these... Uh, weeds up manually? Ridiculous. Although we can smash the stones, which is kind of fun. <laughs> So yeah, as I said, this is a, a game that has definitely inspired a lot of games since. What's happening? Is it, why is that not breaking? Three. Who's getting tired? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. I thought after like six hits that would break, but I guess not. Okay, well, whatever. We'll do the uh, axe stuff instead. What is happening? Why can't I break these? Oh, I'm too exhausted. Jeez. You know what's kind of funny is, like, this is a game about doing chores. Like, if your mom said to you, like, Can you come help me uh, break all the weeds out of the lawn and, like, get an axe and, ha and hatch it up like some stumps and rocks? You'd be like, oh, this sounds like the worst Saturday ever. I do not want to do any of that stuff. Yet, we will totally sit down and play a video game about someone else doing it. Kind of like in the back of my head, I've always wondered, like, <laughs> wouldn't it be kind of weird to find out? I'm not saying this is true, but conceivably, it is within the realm of at least science fiction, at least. We're going to throw this weed in the water. That's 
you know, maybe your life is like someone else's video game, like a like a higher power, a higher alien or something. They are playing your life as a video game, or someone from the future. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but isn't it kind of like a funny idea to think about that, like, we're willing to play games about mundane activities that we would never want to do. It's kind of funny. And oh, it's so satisfying clearing up a little area. Night is definitely upon us. I've somehow worn out my tools because I can't break any more stumps or anything. And actually, when it comes to planting plants, I have no idea what to do next. So all I know about is... In fact, why am I throwing those in the pond? No shipping today? Okay, bye. Yeah, no shipping. I'm going to work into the night. I'm a night owl. Although I shouldn't work too far into the night because maybe, like, some dogs will show up and eat me. We'll have, like, flashbacks of Don't Starve. There's, like, a pond over here. We should explore our land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Night is, like, really rapidly occurring. Let's get in the house. I'm actually... I got a little scared there. <laughs> oh, this is mouse! Uh-oh. Where's our dog? We can whistle for him. Shoot, where is he? he didn't come. What are you doing over here, bud? Hey, we picked our dog up. <laughs> Let's bring him inside with us. You're coming inside. Ta-da! All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Write in my diary. Let's let's see what he writes. Let's like, what what goes on in the mind of a farmer? Oh, I guess writing in the diary is saving. So today it is rainy. Uh, tomorrow it'll be sunny. Well, what are we supposed to do on a rainy day? I guess this would be a good day if we had chickens or cows to tend them, but we don't. Ugh. You know what? I have a feeling that if I work today, I'm totally going to get sick. Let's go to town. Let's go to the bar for the day. You know what? It's, it's raining. Forget work. Let's go have a drink, a stiff drink. In the North American release of this game, they actually removed all the references to alcohol. So when you go to the bar, there totally is... You can totally buy alcohol. But they took that out of the, the North American... We're preparing. They took that out of the North American release, and they instead replaced it with juice. So you could buy some quote-unquote juice, in quotes. Um, but the juice would definitely make you intoxicated, which is pretty hilarious. That's medicine for the cows. Uh, 1,000 Gs? Whoa. Okay. I do not have enough money for that, and I do not want that. There was a bar around here, wasn't there? There was some guy who was drunk in one of these places. Uh, this looks like a restaurant. Let's try this. There's festivals here that are, that arrive. There's disasters, too. Uh, you might catch colds. Okay. Good to know. Eat something when you're tired. Our cakes are the best thing to get more energy. I totally want a cake. Cake, good uh, stamina. Only 500 Gs! Holy crap, that's an expensive cake. That's as much, that, that cake costs as much as medicine. Can I take this? Your bag of stuff? No. Nope. Okay, well, coming to town was a huge bust. The bar is closed. There's no girls around. You know, we should have stayed indoors all day. And then come to town at night. Ugh. Okay. Wait, what happens if we go up? Neighborhood town. Uh, I don't want to go up right now because it's rainy. I'm totally going to get sick. Should have stayed in. Didn't even have the wherewithal to bring my, myself an umbrella. My guy is not very smart. All right, let's... Can we talk to... Oh, jeez! I was going to say, can we talk to our dog? I didn't mean to hack at him with an, with an axe. Can we just go to bed? Yeah. Go ahead. We're just going to... We're going to spend the day in bed. That is uh, what we're going to do. All right. So did I literally sleep through a day? I did. So my guy now has something like 18 or 20 hours of rest under his belt. Woo! Interesting. He's a pretty good jumper, too. Look at that. wonder if he can jump in the water. No, he won't do that. Okay, let's figure out how to plant some stuff. Okay, my guess is we're going to want this. No. Put, put the thing back. Get the new thing, in fact. Thursday, the 4th of spring. How do we... 
I do not know how to pick up a new tool. Huh. That was remarkably easy, and I don't know why that didn't work before. Okay. I guess I was not pressing A correctly. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, first let's try and smash this rock, because I think we can do it. Sun is rising, putting in a hard day's work on Grandpa's farm. Oh, yeah! We now have the energy to smash rocks. We're going to go ahead and cultivate a little bit of land here. We're going to call this Jay's Row. We don't want to cultivate too much land at once. Whoops. We don't want that patch. This totally reminds me of Minecraft now, actually, where you, like, have to hoe certain spots. Uh, we want this. Yes. But we also want this. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and finish cultivating Jay's row here. Let's get rid of this. Whoops! <laughs> oh, I guess we, like, permanently lost that fence now. Yep, it's gone. Okay. Uh, what do we want? This. And we're going to go ahead... Do some manual labor here. I'm like just thinking of like what what I'm gonna do at the bar tonight. Hey, a little uh, a little scoundrel, get out of here, you! That's pretty funny. Oops, didn't want to do that either. Ooh, a coin. Pops, Grandpa just has coins buried around here. Maybe we will. Nah, I don't know. Okay, let's do rows of two. Actually, I feel like it's more efficient. I'm, like, changing my plan as I go. This is going to be, like, a really awkward garden to begin with. In fact, oh, uh, let's just hoe the whole thing. I've kind of screwed screwed up what I wanted to do here today. Are you seriously tired already? You lazy jerk. J. Mr. J is his name. There we go. Oh, what? That's it. I only have one thing of seeds. Uh-oh. I blew all my seeds in a crappy spot. I should have done it over here. Damn it. Well, you live and you learn. I guess we should go buy some seeds in town. Before we do that, though, let's water our plants. It's a good use of time. I hear plants like water. So... There we go. How do we, how do, we do this? Getting water? Okay. Now we go over here. Yes! <laughs> it's funny, like, the sense of satisfaction of, like, figuring stuff out. Okay, well, we've done we've done everything we can do here. Sun is setting. Good time to go into town, buy some seeds, and meet some girls. Cha-ching! Yeah, so this is, as I say, an influential game. What's kind of cool is that... Recently, a game came out on Steam called Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is essentially the spiritual successor to Harvest Moon, which is really, really cool when you think about Oh, the store is closed. All right, I guess we'll have to buy seeds tomorrow. But, yeah, I mean, an interesting thing about what's going on in the gaming community these days is that um, with Steam and, well, Kickstarter and all this stuff, Fans of games who had fun growing up playing certain games but never really got the sequels they wanted are now in the spot where they can make the sequels to the games they want to play. Uh, let's talk about, I'll finish that thought in a bit. Let's just explore the bar in a moment. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Okay. I can do that. This guy looks so upset. Good evening. I'm a fan of Eve's, you know. Okay. What's this guy say? This guy's drunk. Drunk as a skunk. No, I'm still fine. No, you're drunk. This guy is sad. Eve lost her parents and her grandfather, who is a hunter, brought her up. Grandfather locks himself in the mountain and hardly comes down to town. That's very sad. Oops. I wanted to talk to the girl and the boy. Hold on. Okay, we gotta, we gotta put some moves on this girl here. Um, what should we say to her? Let's say... Uh, let's, not, let's play nonchalant. Nonchalant. So we're going to go up and we're going to ask her, we're going to ask her if she works here. Let's do that. Um, it's my home, it's my home made of fruit juice. Do you want it? Oh, my homemade fruit juice. Tee hee. I'll kiss you if you can drink it. Um, yes, I'll drink it. Uh, it seems to 
made me very drunk. Hey, I'm just kidding. What? You lured me in with a kiss. I thought things were going well. Apparently my, get my guy had game. Did not work. Things you can't ship are flowers, animals, and perishables like cake. Don't put those things in the box. Okay, good, good random tip, dude I've never met before. How do you know I'm a farmer? Is there seriously no kiss in it? Ugh. She made me, she made me chug a beer and did not give me a kiss. I feel let down. Okay, let's go uh, break into the mayor's house and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Hey, Mr. Mayor! Oh, the door's locked. <laughs> he locks his door. He's on to me. <laughs> so anywhere we can go at night? No. It is kind of cool to be able to explore a town at night. This game really actually reminds me of Legend of Zelda in many ways. Like the graphics and stuff are obviously uh, of the exact same style as like Legend of Zelda uh, on the Super Nintendo. In Legend of Zelda, though, you never really got to explore towns at night. Like there's no day-night cycle. I really appreciate that there is a day-night cycle here. It's kind of cool. And there's a seasonal cycle, too. I mean, for a game about farming, you have to take into account the seasons. And so, you know, I mean, right now we're in spring. Eventually it'll be summer and then winter and so on. Hey, hey, Pooch. I'm just going to walk you around here, put you in front of the TV. Put you in front of the TV. And they're going to put on a show. And all I seem to watch on this TV is the Weather Network. Don't I have, like, a DVD? Like Professor Megorium's Magic Emporium or something. Wait, what did that say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, sunny and calm. Good day to farm, I hear. Okay, we're going to go sleep here. As I was saying, though, uh, so Stardew Valley, really, it's an up... It, it basically is like Harvest Moon, only modernized. And so all sorts of things that, that were in Harvest Moon, like getting married and exploring and farming and all that stuff it's all there but severely upgraded and i've never played it but i've definitely watched videos and been super interested if you've never heard of it go look it up right now stardew valley how are my crops doing it is a really cool idea for a game it is essentially this only modernized and so what i was saying about the modern gaming community that's cool is that you know when i was growing up people would sort of fall in love with certain games and there were a lot of games that people felt like never got the sequels they deserved you know like harvest moon they're still making harvest moons but they're all on the nintendo 3ds and so if you you don't have a 3ds you don't want to play portable games there's not much you can do but stardew valley can play on the pc and it's only 15 bucks actually so you know if this if, if harvest moon was your game man check out stardew valley i feel like i'm just a an ad for stardew valley right now but i it really looks really neat and it has extremely positive reviews there's something really cool about this idea of like living a fake life okay what do we got here that's a potato seed yes uh, okay we're gonna spend money on the potato seeds thank you because we're supposed to be potato farmers here. You gotta spend money to make money in this world. Okay, we're gonna go plant our potato seeds. Then, I think we'll go explore the woods a little bit and see what's up. I don't know how to buy livestock, but you can totally own chickens and cows in this game. And if you own cows, you have to, like, uh, stroke them and, like, kind of keep them well-mannered so that they produce milk and stuff. It's actually kind of funny when you think about it, to be, like, really nice to the cows. But uh, I don't know if we're ever gonna get to that, because... I think this hoeing and cleaning up the yard is the most my guy has stamina for these days. Okay, we got a nice big plot for potatoes. We're going to plant so many potatoes, it's going to be awesome. Pick it up. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I you know what you know what I wonder is... Okay, we're going to go right here. Hey, I just had my lunch. Nope. Boom! Look at all those potatoes. All right, now we're going to water them all. Water. 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 We're going to have so many potatoes. We're going to be eating, like, pierogies for weeks after this. Be nothing but pierogies in our house. Oop, double watered that. That's okay. Potatoes can stand a little bit of extra watering. All right. Well, we've done everything we can do for today at the farm. Yo, let's go exploring. Uh, we have not been in the woods yet. Let's go check it out and see what's out there. But regarding gaming, yeah, I kind of wonder, like, it's kind of an exciting time to be a gamer because 
There was a time when I was growing up when like there'd be good games, but they might not have the sequels that they deserve. Nowadays, people can make those sequels. And I even think like the kids growing up today, the games that they like, like Minecraft and all those other games that are really big hits. I wonder like what those kids growing up today are going to go on and create in the future. Because game development is only going to get easier and easier as more tools and more technology comes to exist. You know, like people can design indie games by themselves now because the tools are so easy and they're only going to get better. So it's, yeah, a really exciting time to be a gamer, I think. What is this? It's a random, a random weird looking rock. I wish you brought my hammer. Doing some uh, spelunking, some cave exploration here. Ooh, an apple. What's this say? Easy to collapse. Hmm. Ooh, what are these? They're like herbs. I guess you can find herbs here. Okay, you know what? We have to come back with our hammer. This is me switching items. I have nothing and a, a watering can. Okay, we're, we're totally coming back with a hammer tomorrow. We're going to mess up this cave. There's lots of people hanging out in the woods, though. There's like a fisherman. There's like some dudes just hanging out in a field. I thought the woods would be abandoned. But now there's stuff going on. Like, where'd those dudes go? I guess they're all gone now. They're probably at the bar. Hey, this is like someone's house. Somebody lives in a tree. Workman's house. Call us for annex and extension. Oh, you can, like, expand your house in this game. That's pretty cool. There's a pond. I think you can go fishing. All kinds of fun stuff out here. Is this herbs? Nope. Or if it is, I don't know how to take advantage of it. In Legend of Zelda, you could do this, too. You could pick up bushes and throw them around. It was kind of fun. Again, had no idea that Harvest Moon had it, too. Can't pick up that rock. What else is... It's probably a terrible idea to be exploring the woods in the dark. Like, everyone has gone home, except me. What? Get undressed here. Oh, you can, like, go in the water? Oh, man. We're totally coming to explore in the woods tomorrow. We're going to... Okay, we're going to get up early. We're going to water our potatoes. And then we're coming and hanging out in the woods, having a play day. Going to bring a hammer, smash those rocks in the cave. It's going to be so fun. He's so excited. He's like, I can't wait to get home and get to sleep. I'm going to bring my hammer. I'm going to go go in the water, have a swim and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Talking fast is terrible. I should not try and do it. I just sound like a stuttering idiot. Okay. Uh, where are we going here? This is totally the type of game I would have got into as a kid, by the way. Like, I would spend hours playing The Sims, trying to, like, perfect my house. Uh, you know, Sim City I already talked about back when I played that game. But, uh... I think it's it, it it even extends back to like before video games for me. Like I was super into Lego as a kid. There's something about building something that is really cool. And games like this, they not only allow you to build stuff, but it's like you build it within the confines of rules. So you can you can be successful. You can have a successful farm versus a crappy farm. I would totally as a kid probably have gotten into this. I mean, in in much the same way that like I do find Minecraft very fun. It is a uh, it's a very interesting game. I haven't played it probably as much as a lot of people out there, but definitely it is a game that I enjoy uh, when I have sat down and played it. It's just fun to both build and explore. And this game, I could see elements of both. So, yeah, Harvest Moon. Game worth checking out. Oh, I need more water? Is that it? Huh. Interesting. It, this is a remarkably, like, detailed simulator for its time. Again, you know, it... Reminds me so much of Minecraft, which I thought was so revolutionary when I first played it, but like I'm seeing there's gameplay elements that I thought were kind of new when I played Minecraft, but they're not. They're uh, expansions of ideas that people have, you know, had and developed before. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think every game needs to build on what games have come before and add and adapt and change. And that's how games get better and more interesting over time. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with borrowing from past games to make your game. Never let anyone tell you different. All right, here we go. Oh, did we bring our hammer? Yes, we did. Let's go smash some stones in some caves. If there was a cave when I was a kid, like in a forest near my house, I totally would have explored it. I love that stuff when I was a kid. When we were growing up, my grandmother's house was right in front of a park, so we would, like leave her house and me and my cousins would like walk down this path between the houses and like go to the park um, behind the house 
And behind the park was like a forest. And there were like trails and stuff through the forest. And I used to love going and exploring there. Hey, there's a girl here. Let's see what she says. Um, not just flowers. I love them all like weeds and vegetable. I want to do garden forever. <laughs> Either this girl is not too bright or we are now experiencing some poor Japanese translation. Okay. What? What am I doing? Oh, I'm eating. Okay, I just ate a croissant in front of her. Don't mind me. I just smashed your rock. And you too. Tell me how to get that apple, damn it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Can I climb here? Come over here. Let me climb on your shoulders. I want that apple. Uh, behind my grandmother's house was... Were... Wait, trails? Was a forest. Were trails. They are really cool. It was like lots of stuff you could explore. They were like... There was like valleys with like rivers and they were like falling over trees. There was so much down there. In fact, just talking about it makes me want to go back there. She doesn't live there anymore, but um, okay. How do I talk to you here? You want weeds? Not just flowers. I love them. Weeds. I want to do garden forever. Okay. Well, I gave you some weeds. I'm going to give you all these weeds. Maybe that will do something. Ah, so you're a girl who likes weed, eh? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what these things are, by the way. But I'm going to give them to you. Okay. Here you go. You now have all of them. What does that do for me? What did that do? Nothing? Anything? Anything? Does it do anything for you? Okay. So, this just wasted my afternoon. Thanks for nothing. I don't even know your name. Hello. She looks like she has a cute face, so we'll let it slide. Well, actually, no, she looks old. We'll let it slide either way. Poor girl's just hanging out in a cave. Like, all day. She's not even doing anything. She's just standing there, like, walking around in circles. That would be, you know what, that would be terrifying. If you actually did go explore a cave, and uh, you, like, you know, found, like, deep in the cave, you found someone just literally standing there by themselves, muttering things about how they like to garden, walking in circles. That would be absolutely terrifying. I would immediately walk away from that person. Okay, we're going to go back to town. We're not really doing too much farming here, but we definitely want to keep going to that bar. Because I feel like, if nothing else, we're going to have a thriving social life. I swear we're going to make a friend. We're going to find a girl who likes us for who we are, not who she wants us to be. We're going to have a life, guys. I know money's important, but the most important thing is love, you know. Exactly. Love! Don't you think so? Exactly. I was just telling my YouTube subscribers the exact same thing. You have no idea. Okay, let's go see what she's saying. Hi, you look fine today. Hmm. Hmm. Can we give her a watering can? Will that do anything for her? <laughs> Just, like, pour water on her? <laughs> no. Okay. I think we have to, like, buy her gifts or something. It's actually kind of, like, mildly offensive that in these games to get women, you have to just buy them random gifts. Can't use a tool. You lose stamina. You can't carry things around. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't know how to make friends. Making friends is confusing. I wonder if, like, what we just experienced in there is sort of like what someone who has, like, autism or something feels about socializing, where it's just, like, a bunch of really confusing people saying very confusing things, and it's not clear how to interact with them or how to make friends. Because, like, that's one of the things about being autistic is you don't see the value in uh, socializing. Or not that you don't see the value, but you just don't view people as different from other objects. And that's kind of the feeling I just got in that bar where I had no idea what to say or do to anyone. I knew I had to interact with them a certain way, but it's like much the same way you interact with the stones in your garden or the, the seeds that you've planted. It's like, what series of buttons do I have to press to get you to do the thing I want you to do? That's how I view those people in that bar. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Okay. I wonder, are there any classics out there that you guys feel like were amazing games that you grew up with that really didn't get the sequels that you wanted, uh, but that are now getting sequels. So I'll throw out one example. River City Ransom. Amazing game. I played it for my uh, my Off the Books series, which is now called... Hey, look, this is Stuff's Growing, which is now called um, Saturday Afternoon Gaming. But I played it for that, and I always loved that game. Never had a real sequel until uh, Kickstarter. Now they're making River City Ransom X. Or, wait, no, Underground. Underground. Uh, and it's going to be an amazing sequel. 
But you know, maybe maybe there's a terrific game out there that you're waiting on still. That's a, that's another question too. Is there any game that you thought was amazing that you grew up with that you would love to see a sequel to, but you're still waiting on it? That's another that's another thing, you know. And hey, if you love if you love a game, I bet there's uh, 50 kids out there who love it too. And when those kids grow up to be game developers, guess what? Some of them might make that game. So never say never with uh, the future of gaming, guys. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. Don't put rocks in there? What is this? Didn't know this was on my property. What is this? Can we... Let, let's put a rock on it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I guess you can spell things with the rocks. I never thought of that. That's kind of interesting. What else is over here? We should explore our land. A farmer should always know his land, guys. Maybe maybe Gramps hid, like, other golden coins. Nope, just stopped. It's interesting how he, like, stops to have a meal. Also, where is he getting that food? Because I am not going shopping. Just food that he's finding around the cabin? Because that cannot be fresh, freshly, you know, bought groceries. Okay. And... I guess, you know, the story of this game is that your parents just left you at Grandpa's farm and you have to revive it or whatever. Again, in reality, this would be extreme neglect on the parents' part. You can't just do this to a child. How old am I supposed to be? I think like 14 or 12, or I don't even know in this game, but I'm definitely not an adult. Or maybe I am, maybe I'm like, because I guess you get married in this game, so maybe I'm an adult. Who knows? Okay. I, I can't throw this rock. I can't get rid of it. Get out of here. I want to find some chickens, or at least a wild dog, something. Okay. I guess, you know, if I would actually keep playing this game, eventually you would clear out this whole area and grow massive amounts of crops. I'm still waiting on just a couple of potatoes. Oops. We're going to call it a, a quick night tonight, though, and go to bed, and maybe some potatoes will have grown by morning. We can hope. Otherwise, maybe, what will I do? I'll chop wood. Let's get rid of some of these fences. They're really in the way. They really serve no purpose. You actually, I read you don't even need fences in this game. They're literally just there for aesthetics. Yep, no shipping. See ya, dude. Get off my property before I get my shotgun. Okay, we'll get this too. There. We're really opening up the farm. Whoops. See, I hate that. I wanted to get rid of the fence so I would stop going in the shed accidentally. Don't you hate that in games? You accidentally go into sheds. Or not sheds, but you accidentally do something you don't want to do. Okay, night is falling. I wonder how dark it will get. Can we stay up all night? What happens if we don't go to bed? We're just going to sit by this rock for a minute and think. Do a little dance. That's my uh, disco. Or not disco, it's my club beats sound effect. So, as I, you know, I guess they still make Harvest Moon games. And I've talked a little bit about how it's cool that people made Stardew Valley, and that people revive old games. They technically still make Harvest Moon games, although I guess they call them, what do they call them now? Um, Story of Seasons. They renamed the series, so it's not Harvest Moon anymore. It's Story of Seasons is a generic series under which Harvest Moon occurs, and there's many other sequels. But as I say, those are mostly DS and 3DS games. So it's not like you could go and necessarily play this on uh, like a modern console or something. And I guess that's where something like Stardew Valley comes into play, because you can play this on a PC if you want. Although I think there are, there was a GameCube version of this. I don't know. Uh, don't quote me on any of that trivia. Could be dead wrong. Hey, look, look, our potatoes are growing. Yes, we want potatoes. Uh oh, you know what I realized now that they're growing? It won't let me, like, stand on them anymore, and I can't get to that one in the middle. There's nothing... I, I can't get to it. And I can't even pick these up. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, let's try and hoe it away. Uh, yeah, sure. we will take this. There we go. Alright, let's see if this will work. I want to relocate some fledgling potatoes. Nope. Nothing. Okay. So those potatoes in the middle are going to die. That is for sure going to happen. Okay, we're still going to water all this stuff. I don't know what this is. 
And I also don't know how to tell when things are ready. Doesn't let me pick it up, so it must not be ready. Oops. Gonna go and fill our watering can up some more. And now we're gonna go to bed. It's like noon and we're gonna we're just gonna turn in for the night. A hard day's work! <sighs> oh man, that was a fake yawn but turned into a real one. Did I just make you guys yawn too? That always happens to me when somebody yawns. Oh man, I, I feel like I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I should not be yawning. It's like four in the afternoon. Why am I so tired? It's ridiculous. I live a hard life. Hey, little birdies! That's cute. Can I capture them? I thought they were like baby chickens. Because if they were, I totally want them from my farm. Okay, plant these and these and these. 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 I wonder what I'm actually supposed to be doing in this game. Because clearly, I mean, I have no money to buy more seeds and stuff. So should I be going to the forest and, like, talking to people over there trying to earn seeds? Can you earn seeds in this game? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Okay. Uh... Let's take this thing. This thing has got to be useful for something. Oh, look at it. Yeah. We're going to go and harvest some stuff with a scythe. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Useless. Uh-oh. Crap, I just killed some potatoes. Uh, well, we know I'm not a very effective farmer. I paid like 300 G's for those stupid seeds, and I just destroyed them for no reason. No, don't water the weed, you idiot. Scythe it. Well, that's something. I feel like scything these things is better than picking them up. Just toil in the fields for a little bit, and then we'll go to bed. Don't know how to get that girl in town to like me. Don't know how to make a friend. Don't even know how to buy a chicken. Wouldn't even know who to talk to to buy a chicken. Kind of a sad, lonely life. Kid, he just walks around the field all day, feeling sorry for himself, wishing he had friends, a mother, a father. Everyone's forgotten him. Doesn't know what it's like to have a youth. Has to make his own lunches. Tends to eat a lot of croissants and cake. But can you blame him? Very sad life. His dog doesn't even come up out and play with him. You're supposed to be able to whistle to summon the dog. Let's see if this works. One of the bumpers supposed to summon the dog here. What, the quote-unquote bumpers. They never called them bumpers back in the Super Nintendo day. It was just the L and the R. Nowadays they call them bumpers and triggers. Yes. Well, Harvest Moon. Uh-oh. Is it raining today? Damn it, it's raining. Well, I mean, all we were going to do is water the plants, so basically now we don't have to do anything today. Yeah, okay, you know what? We're going to go to bed. The next sunny day we have, we're going to check on our plants. And then we're going to go check out the woods a little bit. And then we might call it. Because I feel like this video is starting to get up there. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's right in your diary. I want to know what you're writing, damn it. Guys, Harvest Moon has been a very interesting game to play. As you can see, I have just scratched the surface of the abilities of this game. This is a very sort of Minecraft-esque... Ooh, look at them! They're growing! <gasps> we got potatoes! Okay, hold on. We got some freaking potatoes. Yes! Oh, things are paying off! Okay, hold on. We're not going to call it just yet. We finally got potatoes after all our hard work. We're totally selling these potatoes. We're going to buy a gold watch. We're going to go back to the bar and press that girl. We're going to drink two of her juices back to back. One of them will pour her on the ground when she's not looking. She'll think we're so cool. We're going to get that kiss. Everything's going to be okay. Grandpa will come back from his heart surgery. He'll have been fine the whole time. Mom and Dad will remember I'm here. They'll come pick me up. My dog will like me. Pooch! 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 Come over here, Pooch! Pooch! Oh, it's okay. He'll come over next time. Things are going to be so good from now on. These potatoes are going to change my life. Six potatoes is all it took. Well, really... Five. I guess one's not ready yet. But I'm so excited about this. 
My heart is racing. I haven't... This is the thrill of farming, guys. The highs and the lows of farming. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to get so much money. Shipping box. Pick up in the evenings. Okay, we're totally just going to wait for this guy. We're just going to, like, bum around by the fence over here. Do-do-do. It's going to rearrange the fence for no reason at all. Hey, what's up there? Huh. Huh. Oh, there's a bunch of land up here, too. Look at this. Hey, and what? 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 What's over here? It's like pre-tilled land. What is this? Secret garden. No entry allowed. Well, I just got in. Crazy. Huh. That's very cool. Kind of want to grow stuff in the secret garden now. Oh, man. Could you imagine if we could buy a chicken? A chicken or a cow would, like, make my day. What's this sign over here say? Shipping boxes for livestock. Okay. Come on, come on, where's the dude? We have to break... So this is broken fence. I think you gotta smash it with a hammer. We don't have a hammer handy. I don't think a scythe will do. No. Anyway, while we're waiting for this guy to come, I will say Harvest Moon. Incredibly interesting game. I can see there's tons of gameplay elements worth trying out stuff that you should look into i 100 percent recommend this game because i can see its potential and as i say this is the kind of game i would have got into as a kid if i had more time <coughs> if you have time you might consider trying this one or you can consider trying the modern version which is basically stardew valley or one of the 3ds uh, versions of um, story of seasons i would say the pros of this game are that it is a very rich game and that there's lots of different activities to do is that all you're shipping today it costs 400 i'll put money in the box tomorrow guys sweet we made 480 g's it's like christmas my guy's gonna go to sleep tonight and just think of all the sweet things he's gonna buy he's gonna think he's dreaming about buying more seeds it's gonna be awesome munching away on whatever that thing was looked like raw chicken in fact I hope it wasn't raw chicken. Okay, now what? Pick up. Okay, do I do I have my money? Where's my money, yo? Friday, 12th of spring. 590 G's. Boom, 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 boom. Let's run to town and see what we can buy. I swear I want to figure out how to buy a chicken. It's like my, my dream, owning a chicken. I would call him dog, and he would be like a pet. He wouldn't even be like livestock. Okay, we do not want the flower dealer. Screw buying crops. They take too much time. I want a living, breathing chicken. That's a church. Okay. I think the mayor is in the chicken, chicken dealing business. I suspect not. Um, oh, there's something down here that totally has, like, a chicken's face on it or something. Not that. Whoop. I see a chicken. There's a chicken being advertised on the top of your building there, sir. It might just be a wind vane, but hold on, I'd hope you're willing to sell me some kind of chicken. Or cow. I will also take a bison. But I will not take a pig. That's... Pig is a peasant's animal. And I am an upper-class farmer, I'll tell you what. Okay. That's a booze house. Where do you guys keep all your chickens? Damn it. Aw, oh, it's disappointing. Well, I guess we'll go check the seeds out and kind of do that as a wrap up here. Um, what are the cons of this game? It's hard to come up with too many, to be totally honest. I mean, one con is it's kind of a slow game and then it will take you a while to grow things. But I mean, that is just the nature of the beast, you know? Uh, bag of seeds. Okay. Well, we want potatoes. It's the money maker. Uh, we're gonna buy. Guess what? We're gonna buy two bags of potato seeds. Yep. Oh man, we're gonna have so many potatoes, it's crazy. So it's a kind of a slow game, but. I mean, you can't fault the game for that. That's just the design of the game. So the only con that really stands out, I would say, is that, you know, if you're not into this whole simulator RPG exploration kind of thing, then maybe this isn't for you. But, I mean, that's just like saying 
you know, if this is not the type of game you want to play, you're not going to enjoy playing this game. I mean, it's a, a non-issue. Okay. Get our seeds. Oh, and we also want our water thing. One thing we have to make sure we try and do before I sign off, I don't want to forget, is go swimming. Try and get the whole Harvest Moon experience here. All right, here we go. Boom! It's raining seeds. Oh, we got another potato. This potato is going to make everything okay. Grandpa's going to love me again. It's going to be great. Imagine, like, you owned a farm and you just peaced out for the whole summer. And you were like, all right, grandson, you take care of this. And if you take care of it well, then I'll be proud of you. But if not, screw you. I think I just screwed myself, actually, because now... I'm not going to be able to get to, like, a whole row of potatoes in the middle. That's okay. We're going to space out our potato harvest in case something bad happens. We don't want all the potatoes becoming ripe at the same time. Do potatoes get ripe? Is that an accurate statement? I don't even know. I'm such a non-farmer, I couldn't even tell you that. Okay. Oh, man. I kind of, like... I kind of want to keep playing until these... I'll, uh, I'll grow. I think that would make the video too long. Maybe I'll keep playing after I end the video and just have like a little thing at the end of the video showing all these potatoes because it's going to be so sweet. So sweet. And what did I plan here? Like, what is this? Is this marijuana? It looks like marijuana. It's just grass. I literally just planted a bit of, bit of grass. It's like, ooh, very nice grass. <laughs> so useless. <laughs> It's literally just taking up space. It does nothing. Yes, write in your stupid diary. You basically write nothing. You know, speaking of uh, recreating games from our youth, when I was a kid, I always wanted to create Mario. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a game developer when I was older and make Mario games. And in a weird way, now that Mario Maker is a thing, I can kind of do that, which is kind of crazy. If I had told like a young me that one day there'd be a video game where you could literally make your own Mario levels. I mean, that I would have just been like, how do I get that game and how do I never stop playing? Because that's all I wanted to do. It's, it's an amazing time we live in, guys. I'm constantly happy about the era in which I was born. Happy about the state of gaming. I mean, it's not like there's never any issues. There's some issues sometimes, but... Yeah, look on the bright side of things. It's my philosophy. That's the philosophy of a child farmer. When your family leaves you and shoves the responsibility of a farm on you, you just got to look on the bright side. Could be worse. All right. Time to go swimming. Yeah! All right, I've already talked about the pros and cons. I'm kind of wrapping up super early here. I kind of leave the wrap up usually for the very end of the video, but I feel like there's a few more things to do. But yeah, pros and cons. This this is a decent. This is a, not only a decent game, a good game. I would say, is this a game you know worth playing before you die? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. I'll. Oops. Do you want to fish? Yes. Fishing rod. Use the Y button. Okay. Ooh, we can't even fish. Huh. Okay. I, I keep casting, but now what do I do? I'm just sitting here. Just sitting here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> wow, this is like the most boring part of the game ever. You don't do anything. What do you do? Okay, I'm done. Fishing sucks, sir. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I don't know how. I want to keep these herbs, but I don't know how to do that either. Okay, we got to go swim before it gets too late. And we'll check out that treehouse, too. There's, like, berries over there. I could have been exploring this place the whole time. I was kind of doing a half-assed job of it. Oh, well. Hey, there's a girl hanging out. Let's talk to her. Ooh, what a coincidence to meet you here. Yes, tee hee. Tee hee. Okay. Do you want to come swimming with me? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm swimming around. This water does not look hygienic at all, but I'm swimming. Is this is my me time? Just relaxing. It's like a hot tub. Ugh. All right. Get out of here. Do you want to go swimming with me? Nope. I do not know how to get that girl to like me. It is beyond me. Also, she's wearing like a ball gown in the forest. Seems seems like overdressing, if you ask me. 
Can't open it, it's locked. Damn it! Oh, I guess we'll never know what's in there. <laughs> Gotta end this video at some point. Harvest Moon. Definitely check it out before you die. Definitely it is a game worth playing. Definitely a lot to do in it. It is a great game if you're looking for something to explore over a weekend, over a couple of days. Um, this is not a type of game you could pick up and just, you know, play right away. You really have to start to get into it a bit. It's kind of like Minecraft. It's sort of the Minecraft before Minecraft, probably. Or The Sims before The Sims. It is definitely one of those types of games. Anyway, guys, um, I've had fun. I've had fun checking this game out. This is one a long time... It has long been on my list of games to check out. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to do so. And once again, we have passed 100 subscribers. I'm super stoked about that. Still stoked. Hopefully you guys are too. Tell your friends. Tell your family. You know, try and get more people watching. Uh, you know, generally. Because uh, spreading the word about my little quest here, I think, is something that would just make it more fun for all of us. Having more people watching, more people liking, more people commenting. Ah. Uh, I mean, we're at the beginning, guys. We're, we're not even at 100 videos yet. Um, and when we do hit 100, actually, this summer, I have something special planned. But I'm not going to say too much more about that. I'm going to try and tease you a little. Anyway, I really need to wrap up because I am just babbling incoherently, guys. Uh, so if you have liked this video, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to the next couple hundred videos. How about that? <laughs> Alright guys, until we meet again, take care of yourselves. I'm going to go to bed. And peace. Oh my god, this is the animal buying place, isn't it? There's a picture of a cow's face on it. How did I walk by this? Well, I guess you can only buy chicken food, but not the chickens. How do you get a chicken in this life? Where are you keeping the chickens? Show yourselves, chicken!